Why do some earthquakes of the same magnitude leave entire towns in ruins, while others, deeper underground, pass with far less damage? Let's break down why shallow earthquakes are the real wrecking balls. Just before midnight local time on Sunday, a magnitude 6 earthquake struck eastern Afghanistan near the Pakistan border. Multiple aftershocks followed. The human toll is devastating, at least 1400 people killed and more than 2500 severely injured. Crucially, the quake's focus was only about 8 kilometers deep. That's a shallow earthquake and that shallow depth amplified the destruction. Two quakes can share the same magnitude, yet behave very differently on the surface. The reason? The depth. Shallow focus quakes, 0 to 70 km, intermediate focus, 70 to 300 km and deep focus, 300 to 700 km and plus. Shallow quakes release energy closer to the surface, so the shaking arrives with less time and distance to weaken, meaning stronger ground motion right where people and buildings are. In deeper quakes, much of that energy dissipates as it travels through layers of rock, reducing the intensity that finally reaches the surface. That's why shallow events like Afghanistan's tend to be far more destructive. Afghanistan sits at a collision zone where the Indian plate pushes into the Eurasian plate, one of the most active seismic regions on Earth. The Hindu Kush regularly hosts powerful earthquakes including unusually deep events as part of the lithosphere plunge into the mantle. Meanwhile, along the Suleiman range and near the main Pamir thrust, quakes are typically shallow and especially destructive because they strike near other surface and settlements. So imagine two magnitude 6 quakes, one at 8 km depth, another at 200 km. On paper, they are the same size, but in reality, the shallow one can feel like a jackhammer right underfoot. More intense shaking, more structural damage and higher casualty risk, especially where buildings are vulnerable. The deeper one may be widely felt, but the surface impact is usually less severe because the energy has faded on the journey up. That's the core reason shallow quakes so often become deadly disasters. Magnitude grabs the headline, but depth shapes the disaster. The Afghanistan earthquake shows how a shallow focus can turn a strong earthquake into a catastrophe. Understanding the difference isn't just science, it's the key to preparing communities for the next big shape.